Yo, yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm RJ. Got a trippy one for you today. A special episode of Red Dead Redemption 2's Most Wanted. We're not too far from Coulter, where the game first begins, to find an obscure secret, a character who has a hideout right here on Cairn Lake. Before we get into it, I did want to give a shout out to all the subs. We are going to have a big live stream later on tonight. So if you want to join up, just make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, it'll let you know as soon as we go live. With that said, let's approach the secret hideout of Flacco Hernandez. What do we have here? Keep your dreams simple. Our dreams are pretty simple, Rockstar. We just want Red Dead Redemption 3. Do me a favor, hit the like button, it really helps out. That's actually a cheat code, which will spawn a wagon anytime you want. Find it interesting that there is a broken down wagon right next to it. So here's Flacco's camp. You can find it in both story mode and in online. Now in online, you can be his ally. You can actually do missions for Flacco. But here in story mode, we are hunting him down. So when you approach the camp, make sure to threaten his gang members because that'll pretty much scare them and allow you to walk right up to his cabin. So Flacco Hernandez is a link to the origins of Red Dead Redemption, a movie called The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. So if you haven't seen that movie, it's pretty old school, but it is basically like a Red Dead Redemption movie. So I highly recommend you watch it. The good, the bad, and the ugly actually refers to the three main characters in the movie. One being Clint Eastwood, but one of the characters is named Tuco, and Tuco is represented here in Red Dead Redemption 2 as Flacco Hernandez. So before we meet Flacco, let's take a look at Tuco from the movie. That door ain't coming down. $2,000. <laughs> <laughs> I hope your mother ends up in a two dollar house. Come loose! Come loose! You can still save yourself. He understands nothing about Duco. <laughs> nothing. There are two kinds of spurs, my friend. Those are coming by the door. Those are coming by the window. Where are we going? Well, uh, if you save your breath, I feel a man like you could manage it. <laughs> You're all alone, huh? Like me, Blondie. We're all alone in the world. Uh, I have you, you have me. Tuco is one of the reasons why that movie was so good. And Clint Eastwood's character is actually a lot like John Marston. Come on out, Flacco. You actually get to go in the cabin and have a civilized conversation with him in Red Dead Online. Doesn't quite go that way here in story mode. Doesn't really have much to say. I'm unarmed. Sure you are. Flacco. Tuco. I just want to talk about boy Callaway. Here's your message. So you immediately go into a duel. I'm going to let John die here. Because what Flacco does is a reference to Max Payne, another great Rockstar game. You see how he dives out of the way in slow motion. He's the only character in the game that does that maneuver. So not only is he a reference to Tuco, but he also is an Easter egg to Max Payne. This time, we're not letting you get away with it, Tuco. Not only are we going to blast you, but we're giving you the teabag treatment. I did want to point out that if you go into Flacco's cabin here in story mode and then open up his lockbox, that is where you can find an important treasure map. So it's definitely a location you want to go to fairly early on to recover the poisonous trail treasure. So here we are back at the camp. Approaching Flacco, I did notice he has no other gang members with him, so he's all by himself, hanging out in the cabin. Flacco, what's up? So we can do some free roam missions. Red Dead Online actually added an update 
to where you can choose which mission you do. At first, he would just randomly give you a mission. But now you can destroy supplies, do a boat theft, early release. There are plenty of options and a lot of different dialogue that you can actually have with him. No friends left. You're all alone in the world. Everyone forgot. Forgot about Black Goat. No friends left. He says something very similar in The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. But I did not forget them. Friends of mine in jail. All right, the prisoner has been released. There you go, Flacco. You owe us big time. Now, in story mode, you can even find a photograph in your inventory of Flacco showing you why he's so notorious. He really is one of the most infamous characters in all of Red Dead Redemption 2. Here we are in Armadillo, a town that was made to look like it was right out of the good, the bad, and the ugly. And here in our inventory, under photographs, that is where you can find the Flacco... Hernandez photograph and if you look on the back it'll tell you exactly why he is so wanted Flacco Hernandez the terror of the Grizzlies wanted in six make that eight states runs with a gang of at least ten stone cold killers is that right he's definitely stone cold raids into Annisburg Valentine strawberry and the surroundings Gazette reports hideout west of Coulter, deep in the Grizzly Mountains. Unlikely conversationalist, proceed with caution. One more thing about the good, the bad, and the ugly. It was actually the first movie in a trilogy. It had a sequel called A Fistful of Dollars, and then one more movie to finish it off. So it's only right that Red Dead Redemption also be a trilogy. But let me know what you guys think. We got another video in the works as well, so stay tuned. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you are new, and we'll have a Red Dead Redemption online live stream later on tonight. Hit the notification button and hopefully we'll see you there. Until next time, adios muchachos, stay tuned, and as always, make sure to stay trippy, my friends. Y'all come back now, you hear?